this is part two of our hair bow video. Okay, come closer, sis. Okay, what I did was I took, I couldn't find any hot pink small gross grain ribbon, so I used white and I cut a short enough piece that would just wrap around the center of my bow. And then I took the hot glue gun and I carefully glued the back so that it's secure. And I didn't hardly get it as tight as I would like, but you go ahead and fluff your bow. Okay, so. Okay, so now we have our little hair bow. And also, if you cannot find any of the narrow gross grain ribbon, you could take this wide and take it and fold it in half to use for the center. But it's a little bit more difficult to get it glued smoothly. Okay, so next, you can either choose a hairbreadth, and always check to make sure the hairbreadth opens and closes good before you use it. Okay, so you'll need a hairbreadth, or if you prefer, a clip. And I like to put ribbon across the back of my barrette the same color as my bow, but you don't have to, that's optional. And it looks like I need to trim this one just a little bit shorter. Okay, so we're just gonna put a little bit of hot glue. And move these other things out of the way. Okay, so we're just gonna put a little bit of hot glue across our hair bread. Few dots. Okay, that should be enough. And then I'll take my ribbon and I'm going to carefully place it on the bread. Just push it down. And I'm going to wait for just a little bit to let it dry. And then I'm going to take my little petite hair bow and I'm going to glue it on top. Okay, you usually probably need to let it dry about two minutes before you add your hair bow, but we're gonna try it, see if it works. Okay, so here we go again. Um, we're going to try to keep the glue, the hot glue um, to small dots. Try not to do big glops if you can help it. Just do some small dots. And we're going to place the back of the bow right on the hair bread. Try to Line it up straight if you can. It's kind of hard to do sometimes and kind of press and hold for a little bit. So just press and hold. And then you turn it over and make sure it's dry. Like I said, normally you would wait a little longer before you start pulling on your loops and everything. And now you have a finished petite hair bow. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.